Good morning. What's up, my YouTube family? Um, today I'm going to talk about how I became a bird mom. I don't know what that is on my eye. But anyways. Um, everybody always wants to ask me what is the reason that I wanted to be a bird mom. They're always like, but that's not who you are. That's not what you're into. Well, I thought that too. Um, I'm usually like a dog lover. Um, I had a German Shepherd uh, a long time ago, but he passed away. And I don't think I ever wanted a dog after that. I was so hurt. But anyways, back to um, how I became a bird mom. And I'm still learning how to be a bird mom. It's not easy. Um, my son, who is 11 now, was uh, two and a half when he was diagnosed with autism. Um, I was devastated. And I remember the day when he had his first, um, when he had his first problem with um, his behaviors and it got so bad that he was uh, self-harming himself at the age of five. Uh, and then my baby ended up being in the hospital uh, for that and he was there for a week. So when we got back home, because we had to travel about two hours to where he was at, um, when we finally got back home, I decided that with my depression and hit with whatever he's going through, let's go get a parakeet just to see, you know, if it would change a little bit of his behaviors and maybe just give him some calmness. So I did. I went and bought a parakeet and it was a blue one. Let me see if I can show a picture. Uh, this is Shelly. Yes, you're probably asking why a male bird is named Shelly. That was our first bird. Um, this is when Shelly was adult, um, a young adult, I should say. So the reason why we named it Shelly is because he wanted the name Shelly and we stick to it so um, when I took Shelly to the vet the first time because Shelly was really <clears throat> a really um accident prone bird like literally we went through so much with this bird um, but it even flew away three times and came back I felt like that bird was like our angel. And then um, about four years ago, three years ago, my Shelly left and um, it broke my heart because my, my son no longer was really attached to the bird. Um, so I raised Shelly and um, I made it like my pet. <laughs> so when Shelly when Shelly died, um, a part of me was gone because I didn't know that I could be such uh, I, that I could be so attached to a bird. You know what I mean? So then, when um, when Shelly passed away, and it took me a long time, long time to get another bird. So this time, my depression got worse and I was in a lot of trouble with my depression. And I knew that if I, I knew that if I didn't get another bird, that it wasn't going to be well. So I finally decided that it was time for me to go get another bird. This time I got another male, um, but we named him Peppy. And this right here is Peppy. 
Um, he's a young adult as well right now. I've had him for over two years now. Um, Peppy <laughs> was like a split personality image of Shelly. Uh, it was crazy. I thought that Shelly was living inside of Peppy. So Peppy um, ended up doing the same thing. He flew away twice, but came back. Um, the first time we, I tried to tame Peppy, he, uh, it took a while. But then he was good with me until I got the other bird, which is my female bird. Now back to Peppy. Peppy just recently flew away. Um, it was an accident. My mom, he was at my mom's house and my mom was cleaning the cage and all kinds of stuff. It was just an accident. And it took about a day and a half and I finally got him back. He came to me by himself. Um, I played songs for him. I played his favorite videos that he would watch when he was a baby and he came back to me. So it was shocking and I still have him, so it makes me happy. So then I said, well, Peppy can't be by himself, so we need <laughs> the parakeet. This time, I think it was like my birthday or something, my fiance went and got me a female parakeet. He doesn't know, um, he doesn't know the, the genders, so he just grabbed one because he thought she was just beautiful. She is. But, she's a mess. <laughs> this right here is Princess. She is nothing like the Princess. Um, she's sassy. She loves to eat, as you can tell. She's a chunkster. Um, she's very protective of her home. Um, she doesn't like anybody. Sometimes she trusts me to get on my finger and give me some kisses. But that's about it. So then I said, okay. <laughs> This is okay. I had to take time to do things with Princess and get her trained a little bit. And then I wanted another bird. So I finally went to pick this little chicken up. Um, he's a boy. His name is Prince. This is when he uh, first got home. He was very gentle, very sweet little boy. And this is Prince now. <laughs> it looks like he's smiling. This is my baby. He is very mama's boy. As you can tell in my videos, all he does is give me kisses. He's just the most sweetest thing ever. He just now got his flight wings. So now he's learning how to fly all over. So those are my three babies. I do plan to get another female only because Princess is a mess and she needs a companion. <clears throat> the boys, she's torture the boys <laughs> she thinks she runs everything and um but she's pretty good with them now she used to be really tough on them she used to want to bite them all the time and i think she was just very protective so that's how i became a bird mom i'm still learning um through my depression and through being a, i'm a full-time student at school i have two kids one is almost 16. He'll be 16 Sunday. Um, I work at the school as well. I tutor. I try to keep myself busy. I've had a rough childhood. So these birds are my life. And I'm still learning. Um, but I think if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be here. Mm -mm. I miss my Shelly. But I'm going to continue to grow my flock. <laughs> And I'm going to continue to do what I can and learn how to be the perfect bird mom because that's what I want to be. And um, that's how I became a bird mom. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. Thanks for listening.